Hi there agents, Lori Knudsen here with a coaching tip on how you can get your transactions to be completely approved prior to closing and get paid on time. So once you have the transaction completed, signed all around, and you've exchanged earnest money, and you're ready to get this transaction authorized by the brokerage, we have people in place that will be reviewing the file and I want to show you how you can get that to them. And this is going to happen as soon as all the contingencies are removed Maybe you're still waiting for the appraisal and you are setting up the closing with your closing company that you've chosen. Um, but at this point, it's usually three to four weeks away, maybe even two weeks away, but um, should be weeks, plural, before closing. Uh, you need to get this file approved. So Becca has put together some nice training on our KWCR Connect, which is just right up here with the KWCR and then the word the Connect. Go to New Agent Training. And then, you know, there's lots of great videos in here, including Jean, or, um, Gail Hazley that will go over some contracts information here, information about your MyKW, but right here is your dot .loop information. And in here are some great videos about dot .loop. So let me take you into MyKW and go to Start a Transaction, which is where they're going to have you go for that. Um, and we'll show you how you can get going with your own dot loops and dot loops is just a fancy name for getting it pre-approved getting the file into the broker and pre-approved and so you can see i have a file here but if i wanted to start a new one i would just click add loop and you could put the mls number the property address you can name it however you'd like and it will it is really intuitive you just have to roll down here and just keep going through number two three four and whatnot um, i'm going to take you to a loop that i already have in place so let me see if I just take you back one okay so if I already have this one here which is Mitchell circle I can take you right into this transaction and here are beautifully labeled and laid out all the forms that I've entered under offer and then the buyer docs too so um, I could actually load up some of my buyer docs now um, how I could do it if I did this right now would be to go add document and then browse as to where those would be found in my computer. And so those would be under my buyer's names here. And I'm not actually 100% sure that I've got the buyer package in here. Otherwise, I know it is in Instanet, but this is where I would go to grab it. So here, um, sign package. So I'm not actually sure that I have their buyer package in here, but if it were, and so what I'm looking for, for buyer packages, the agency, the buyer contract, the KW disclosures, and the um, compensation agreement, and where I know those are in are my North Star, so I could go into Instanet and go grab that. I'm just in a different part of that right now. So that's how you would go get it, um, and then you would literally just load it in here. I've already done this with the entire offer. So I just simply added a document and did that very same thing with the entire offer. So I want you to know that that's dot .loop. Um, you can go ahead and check this here if you want that to get submitted to them once you're ready. And you can also message them here. Um, in order for them to see your messaging though, you do have to submit. So I have not actually submitted this file yet as we are waiting for the inspection to clear. I've just loaded it here to be ready. So um, let me get you back to just simply my KW home and show you that is, so that was how to do the dot loop. Basically think about your my transactions. You've got to submit your transaction and that is done through dot loop. Um, when you're done putting that in and you're ready to go to closing, you also need to fill out what's called a green sheet. And so you'll just go to the technology button and go to green sheet. And this is how you get paid. Oops, sorry about that. Um, that is how you get paid on the transaction. And so you'll want to do some of the same things here. You'll want to go ahead and initiate uh, a green sheet. And again, there's videos on this if you need it. Um, so create a green sheet here. And um, that way you can go ahead and get paid. So here we are. Are you the listing agent? So we can say, no, I'm not because this was a buying. And then it was not our listing. So it'll, it'll just take you through, you fill out as many fields as you can, the property MLS, the address, 
and such. And don't forget that um, Deb is always telling us, um, Deb Miller, about how you can add to KW Cares or opt out of it here. So that's a way for you to set yourself up for some giving, if you wish. Um, so this is a real easy process again, but you must have a dot loop and you must have a green sheet when your file goes to close so that they know what to do with the earnest money, they know who's bringing what to closing, and they know what the commissions are. That'll all be talked about in here. So be sure to fill these two out. All right, if you have any questions, the best place to go with these questions are, um, we have Annie McAnalis here. <laughs> Sorry if I butchered that last name. Also, um, Annie Highland, I believe, over in Blaine. And then we have some people, um, Aaron and Danielle at the front desk are very good with these um, as well. So give a shout out to any of those people if you have questions. All right. Thanks so much.